I was wrong. I was so wrong. When I tell you this scale only went up, it only freaking went up. It was the most frustrating. I'm making this video to like help you out if you're experiencing some things like start keeping. So we are gonna talk about IUDs today and this is gonna be more of like a personal story to help you. Um, I don't mean to scare you or you know talk poorly about IUDs or birth control in general, but I do think the more information you have, the better, more informed decisions you can make for yourself. And I wanted to share a personal story about after a bazillion years of using birth control and different types of birth control, I had a horrible experience with my recent IUD. And I just kind of wanted to detail some of that in the hopes that maybe like if this helps one person, so be it. I hope so because I really wish that I would have had some of this information. And if there's anything that I would love for you to take away from this video, it would be to trust your body and advocate for yourself. But let's just get into it and don't mind the mess back there because <laughs> I'm not gonna clean it. <laughs> so first of all, I have tried a ton of different forms of birth control over the years. I'm currently in my 40s. I started taking birth control in my 20s. I have been on everything from your traditional pill. I think I was on like ortho tricycline way back in the day. I've been on the mini pill. I've used a diaphragm and I've used an IUD. And by far, off until this experience, an IUD was my favorite because it really is like set it and forget it. You don't need to like think about it. You don't have to remember to take a pill every single day. And while every form of birth control has got its pros and cons, I really just felt like the IUD was a really good option for me. Now, the first time I ever had an IUD in, it was after I was done having children. So I think I was about 36 at the time I was done having my fourth child and I went in to talk to my doctor. I kind of thought maybe I would want a diaphragm again, but after speaking with him, he kind of told me like the pros and cons of an IUD and that that might be a better route for me to go. And so um, I went home, I considered it on my next appointment back in. I was like, you know what? Yes. I'm gonna try the IUD. And he was like, you know, worst case scenario is you don't like it, we can take it out. Um, it's pretty simple, right, for insertion and for taking it out. I did, though, want a copper IUD for a lot of different reasons that we won't get into here, but I went in and I was like, yes, I'd like an IUD. I will take a copper one. And he said, oh, great, we don't have those here. That would be something that I really think people maybe don't understand. Like my doctor doesn't do copper IUDs and it wasn't that they don't do copper IUDs. It was more like if I wanted to get that done, I was going to have to give them a heads up in advance because it's not something that they typically kept in stock at the clinic. So again, after an in-office chit chat with my doctor and I really trusted my doctor. I mean, I have a really great um, doctor that I've been to for many, many years. And so he said, you know what? You should really try a Mirena, just given all the things that I was thinking about in terms of past experiences and, and what I'm looking for. He was like, a Mirena might be the right thing for you. And so that's what we did. I got my Mirena in and I had the best time with a Mirena in for a little over five years maybe. Um, I had no symptoms, no side effects, nothing. It was great. I 10 out of 10 was like, this is awesome. I knew that we were going to be moving soon and I wanted to sort of get that IUD replaced because it's only good for like a certain period of time and I was going to be moving a few states over. So I was gonna have to find a new doctor. You know how that goes when you gotta find a new doctor and get all the things done and insurance and blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get this IUD swapped out for a new one and we'll be good to go for like another five or six years, right? So I go in and kind of had a deja vu experience. I was like, cool, great, I'm here, I'm ready to get this Mirena taken out and let's put a new one in. And my doctor says, cool, great. However, we don't have any Mirenas in stock right now. What we do have is Liletta. And I was like, well, what is that? I never heard of that. Like, I just, here's another thing, like I should have been better about doing research up front and I guess I just assumed like my doctor would have a Mirena. Mirenas were still around. Like, why wouldn't they have a Mirena? Anyways, I had a conversation with my doctor and was like, okay, like they're very similar. What I was told was it's just a different brand, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. So I said, okay, 
let's do a Violetta. Um, my doctor was right the first time when we put the Mirena in. And so, you know, again, I trust my doctor. I was like, cool, let, let's put it in. And to be clear, I do not fault my doctor at all for any of the stuff that I experienced from the Liletta IUD. And I also want to say, like, I don't know that this is consistent with anybody else using Lilettas. Um, we all have our own experiences, right? So we put the Liletta in and everything goes as planned, you know, no big deal. Um, side note, if you are going to be getting an IUD put in, I would highly recommend that you take a couple ibuprofen in advance. That's what I've done both times that I've had mine put in. Just sort of takes the edge off with any sort of cramping that you might experience and it helps in the aftermath too. You know what I mean? Like your ibuprofen is going to last for like a few hours or so. So just, you know, quick tip. So I'm all excited. I've got my new IUD in. We pick up and we move a few states over. And here's where things go a little sideways. So I would say about a month after I had the Liletta put in, I started to experience some sensations down below. Now we're all big girls here, we're all ladies, so we're just gonna talk about it in very plain, simple clinical terms. Um, but I started to experience more of what would be considered kind of like yeast infection type of symptoms, but not like a full-blown yeast infection. I've never had anything like full-blown in my entire life like that, um, but just a little bit of like irritation, if you know what I mean. Burning, itching, whatever. Didn't think much of it, got an over-the-counter, um, medication used it it kind of gave me a little bit of relief and i figured okay cool no big deal like that's done i was wrong here's where keeping a symptom diary like when you start to experience things with your body and granted i know it takes time to like kind of put the pieces together but it took me way too long so i'm making this video to like help you out if you're experiencing some things like start keeping a symptom diary because you're going to be able to put the pieces together a heck of a lot quicker than I was able to. So I thought it was going to be like all done and taken care of and it wasn't, but it wasn't bad, but it was persistent. And this goes on for a while and it starts to get worse. I would say about like, I don't know, two months or so in. In the meantime, I start to put on some weight. And again, I'm not thinking much of it because we just moved a few states over. I've got four kids, husband, a dog. You know, we're like moving a full house. Like we've got a new school, new everything. So it's stressful. So I had a big life change and I just assumed like, okay, so what? So you've put on like five, seven, two months in, now 10 pounds. And I'm like, oh, like this is not great. But again, we had a big life change. And so I wasn't, I literally was not thinking that it had anything to do with the IUD whatsoever. And this goes on for a while. And it starts to get worse, I would say about like, I don't know, two months or so in. In the meantime, I start to put on some weight. And again, I'm not thinking much of it because we just moved a few states over. I've got four kids, husband, a dog. You know, we're like moving a full house. Like we've got a new school, new everything. So it's stressful. So I had a big life change and I just assumed like, okay, so what? So you've put on like five, seven, two months in, now 10 pounds. And I'm like, oh, like this is not great. But again, we had a big life change. And so I wasn't, I literally was not thinking that it had anything to do with the IUD whatsoever. I was wrong. I was so wrong. So this goes on for a few more months and I'm trying all sorts of different over-the-counter medications and things to help. In the meantime, I start to break out with some weird hives. Um, nothing crazy, like, you know, like my whole body wasn't like broken out and itching, but definitely noticeable. And there wasn't anything that seemed to be causing it. It was almost like cyclical. Like every two weeks I would start to get these weird hives. Um, they were kind of contained to sort of like my upper thigh, lower stomach kind of area. And I just was like, okay, maybe I'm stressed. Like again, we moved, I'm stressed out. So I've got this itching, burning, yeasty type symptoms going on. I'm using over the counter meds. I started to use, let me grab this other thing that I used. At some point I thought it was a good idea to try these honey pot boric acid suppositories. These are amazing. These are amazing, but they're not gonna help you if you've got an infection going on down there. Then I found these at the store because at this point I'm trying all sorts of different topical things, like all the stuff. This is AZO, like yeast 
plus dual relief multi-symptom something. I found when I took these, this is an oral over-the-counter medication. When I took these, it helped for like a couple days. Like I noticed a significant difference but well, I don't need these anymore. We'll get into that. I also started taking, um, it's like Garden of Life. It's like a pill thing. I can't think of it. Garden of Life. Oh, you can't, you probably can't see that. I'll put a picture. Garden of Life Critical Care Probiotics. Again, when I started to use those in conjunction with this stuff, like, it would give me relief for like a day or two and then it was back and it was getting freaking worse. And mind you, my weight gain just kept ticking up. Like, I don't know if you've experienced, I think most people experience this where like, some days you're bloated, some days you're not, some days you're more hydrated, some days you're not. And the scale kind of like, it, it ticks around, right? Like you stay in that same kind of like, you know, four or five pound range, but it might be up a pound or two one day, it might be down a pound or two the next day. Like, you know, but you're in a, you're in a range, right? When I tell you this scale only went up it only freaking went up. It was the most frustrating, confusing, and at the end of the day, demoralizing experience that I've ever had in terms of like, just trying to manage my weight. Mentally, I was feeling great. Like, I'm, I'm still feeling great. Like, I'm a very positive person, so I wasn't like depressed or down and out about it, but like, something was up and i'm gonna show you the chart or the graph i'll screenshot it and put it in here when you see i've got my pencil because i like to take notes <laughs> when you see the spike that my weight took when i was on this iud like it's undeniable that there was something going on for sure about four months in after having the iud put in i had put on 20 pounds 20 pounds in four months is more than I gained in my pregnancies, like when I was in like the third trimester. Um, I've never put on that kind of weight in my life in that quick, that short of a time span. There was definitely something up and like I was eating healthy. I was walking 20,000-ish steps a day, between 15,000 and 20,000 steps a day. I was working out with my husband he, because I mean, you know, like I confided in him and was like, babe, like I don't know what's going on. I need some help here. Like... <sighs> What the, I'm laughing, but I like, I'm laughing because I can look back and just think like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have put the pieces together sooner, but it was no laughing matter. Um, so I would go with him to the gym and he was teaching me how to lift weights and um, do that kind of stuff. So when I tell you like I was eating healthy and I was working out and I was doing 15 to 20,000 steps a day, like it was no joke. And the weight just kept coming on. I will say, it did kind of start to plateau once I dropped my calories down to about 1200 calories a day, which is a, a low amount. Like I should have been losing weight at that point in conjunction with all the working out and it just didn't. It, it literally was like, okay, like if you're going to eat 1200 calories and do 15 to 20,000 steps a day and you know, like walk the dog and do some cardio and lift weights, then you won't put on any weight, but it certainly was not gonna go back down. The weight gain was like so out of hand that like my stretchy pants were no longer comfortable. Um, I didn't take many pictures of myself in that time period. I felt like I couldn't re even like recognize myself in the mirror. I think I've got like a couple pictures because it was over the holidays, it was over Christmas. So um, you can see it in my face for sure. Um, but I certainly wasn't like doing full body stuff, but I'll insert a couple of pictures. You can see it in my face that there were some weight, there was some stuff happening here. So at some point during all of this, I'm having a conversation with my gal pals. And we always talk about this kind of stuff, you know, because we just, we just do, right? Like you can go on the internet and get information and you can also just talk to your girls. And so I was telling them like, you guys, like I'm experiencing some weird stuff and they, none of them were on birth control, um, but I'm telling them all this stuff and they literally looked at me and they were like, Mary, it's the IUD get it out and i was like you know like i was still in freaking denial and no 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 like it can't be i never in a million years would have believed that an iud could do something like that and they were just like snap out of it woman it's the freaking iud get it out so i did i had to make an appointment with a new doctor and i was a little bit concerned i didn't know if insurance was going to cover it i explained the situation to her and she was like are you really sure like we can try to give you um, some pre prescription medications but at this point in it i was just ready i was like I, just, 
I need to listen to my body and let's just get it out. And I figured, okay, like we'll take it out and if the weight still continues to go up and I'm still having infections or hives, then I'll know that it's not the IUD. But until I take it out, I'm never going to fully know. And she was a great doctor. I mean, we talked about it for quite some time. She was fully on board and, you know, she gave me other birth control options, but we took the IUD out that day. I was very, very grateful that she didn't ask me to set up a follow-up appointment, which sometimes, sometimes you have to, but I was just so freaking grateful to get that IUD out. Um, it was painless. It was no problem whatsoever. And then she did give me a prescription for the infections. They did swab me and we did all of the, um, you know, the labs and that kind of stuff. And I did have an infection. And so she gave me the prescription meds and sent me on my way. After getting the IUD out, I lost about five pounds within the first week, which I was very excited about. Also, the symptoms that I had, the, the infection symptoms, they started to go away within, I would say within about two to three days. And that was before starting the prescription medication. I was tempted to like not even try it because I just wanted to see if my body would like work through it and I would just do more of like the critical care probiotics. But I, mm, like a week later, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take the prescription meds um, to just clear the system. I was just so eager to like get everything back to baseline. So um, once I started taking the prescription medication, I mean, that took like a week and it cleared up anything that was left. But like I said, up until that point, it was already getting better just by taking it out. And I do recall when she took it out, um, she said like, oh, your cervix looks a little angry. It, it looks like it didn't like that. And that was also just like a verbal confirmation. Like, I can't see <laughs> what's going on in there. Um, but she could when she took it out and she was like, it's very irritated. So there was definitely something, something was going on with that IUD. Um, now, do I think that everything can be attributed to that? I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But what I will tell you is that once I had it out, all the symptoms cleared up and my weight started to, well, the first five pounds came off and then it started to fluctuate. So my weight started doing sort of the normal thing you would expect it to do where, you know, you're again back within like that five pound range and you just sort of start to kind of float around in that range, which is something that did not happen when I was on that dang IUD. It just kept climbing up. So I was very encouraged to see that. Um, the five pounds was all that came off initially. I know I've heard other stories and I've looked around online. I've heard where some people are like, I got my IUD out and I dropped like 15 pounds in two weeks. That was not my, <laughs> that was not my experience, unfortunately. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that have been great? But it wasn't. But the first five pounds was very encouraging. And then from there, I continued to eat healthy and work out and really listen to my body. The other thing I did was I um, I got rid of my fitness tracker because I really just wanted to like, I'm a very data-driven person um, and I like numbers and I like measuring things and I felt like I needed to just listen. I needed to feel what my body was telling me, whether she was feeling healthy or whether she was tired, whatever. What I can tell you, because now I'm a good, oh, how many months out? I'm probably a good five or six months out from getting the IUD removed. And I've lost in total, I would say like between 15 on a good day, maybe 17, we'll say 15. I've lost 15 pounds of that original 20 that I had gained. And I really just, I didn't do anything different, you guys. Like I've been doing the same thing. I've been walking the dog. I've been gardening, I've been doing my steps that I normally would, but I'm just not like tracking and counting it, you know. Um, I've laid off the weight training a little bit just because of some other little injury things I had going on, but it's not like I all of a sudden, you know, took on like a boot camp routine and like really got into it. I haven't at all. And I've been eating more. I've been eating the same healthy way that I have before, um, but I'm eating more. So I'm sure I'm taking in more calories than what I used to. I'm moving my body the same, but the weight is slowly but surely coming back off. I'll insert that chart again to kind of show you like it's really freaking obvious at this point in time that 
<laughs> oh my god that like that IUD was just not compatible with me and my body for whatever reason um my period started to come back about two or two and a half months or so later um and so i'm back on a regular cycle again i'm almost 43 now i had an iud in for what five six seven ish years um did not have a period for seven years so it's been very different um having it back there's so many more like cool new products on the market now that weren't on the market seven years ago i didn't expect there to be such cool new stuff um in terms of just you know your flow but it's it's been great not having that iud in i had no idea that it could ever cause such havoc in my body i hope that you found this video helpful i realized like this is a personal experience and my experience is not the same experience maybe that you are having right now but i really felt compelled to post this because i was looking for information out there about um women who have tried different types of birth controls and maybe had no, like I literally had no issue with any of my other birth controls and all of a sudden was having significant issues. And, you know, just to give you that little bit of a nudge, you know, the one thing that I would tell you is, um, you know, advocate for yourself, try to keep track of your symptoms if you're experiencing any, and don't be afraid to, to try something different. You know, whether that is trying a different pill or, whatever or a different iud what works for me may not be the same thing that does or doesn't work for you but i'm hoping that maybe this is just a little bit of extra information um, for those out there that could be experiencing similar things so i hope you found this video helpful if you've stuck around this far um also would love it if you did enjoy it if you'd give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time later.